Yeah, this is just great. Uh, so this is like a, an error screen, if you would. Um, get that out of there. Just sit right there and turn it on. Three hundred eighty-six thousand hertz. Yep. Pretty high frequency. High electromagnetism, which I don't like. Um, some people obviously like. It. This is a violet ray. Homemade. I think it's 30 years old. I'm not going to open up and go into it, but uh, if you look, I'm sure blueprints are not hard to find on this. And who knows? Someone deserves to have this in their collection. It's a hot little device. Hot for sure. Um, but I didn't get the old violet ray in front of the oscilloscope, so I wanted to do this one. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's, it has done this a few times, but it is not totally broken yet. Uh, let's see, GR201. Probably, it's going to have problems for a second. Oh well, um, that is basically what's going on. I mean, for something that's a hundred dollars uh, or or less, you know, um, you could have what True Right would sell you for five thousand know? dollars. That's not a joke. Device has, I think, even more magnetism than the True Right does. But it's not the magnetism that fries organisms. It's not the magnetism that you know can entrain your body. It's it's more frequency and it's, it's waveform too. Um, but I'm sure it's it's good for a lot of things uh, for people that can handle the magnetism. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. Um, I've got two clips of this. I'll probably be splicing them together.